on him. For people kill each other over the matter of gold. It's the city that there's no problems in. It's a city where, listen, there is no crime. It's a city where there is nothing but farming. It's a city where the redeemed of God's people, black and white and yellow and red and rich and poor, are born together forever and forever, and there'll never be another barrier of communication. There'll never be anything that comes between them forever and forever and forever. That's heaven. And I'm glad this morning. Hear me this morning. I'm glad for these uh, black folks that are here this morning. Listen, I'm glad. Hear me now. I'm glad that heaven's not just a place for black folks. I'm here with all of our souls. Now listen, hear me now, let me say something this morning. Brother, uh, I'd like to see my race saved. But there's something about seeing somebody of another race converted to Jesus Christ that set something off in my soul. Back to the bell. Well, listen, Paul shall wipe away all tears from your eyes, and we're going to see. There are not any problems in government. There'll be no problems of pollution. There'll be no water problems. There'll be no garbage problems. There'll be no sanitary problems. There'll be no disease problems. There'll be no sickness problems. Brother, a problem that's wrong forever for time shall reign. And he'll reign forever and forever. Now you can afford that city. There's something else about this city. Now there's a city there. But there's a river of life. We're thirsty creatures. Now, I don't know whether the, the, the door of our saints has to drink of that river or not, but I know it's available. I know he's the water of life. Revelation 22 said, And he showed me a pure river, brother. This is not polluted. This is not contaminated. It's the water of life. Boy, it gives life, but it's a river. So there's things in our souls that have been wrong and and aspirations for spiritual things that I have never enjoyed, but I'm wrong. I have searched it for them. I had a, I had a little ship, a little foretaste in my soul. Sometimes it's how I take it as a heart sank it back to the water, broke so panic my soul after the old God. I'm so thirsty for a drink of water from heaven's river. And this is a little literal river, but I believe also, brother, drink of that river and all of our longings and aspirations, unsatisfied, holy longings and aspirations that the Holy Ghost works in our heart and life. One of these days they tell me for a River! That river pulls right down the middle of the street in the New Jersey, that new city, the Word of God says. A river of life, drink it for a river, and whosoever will, let him taste of the water of life freely. Not only a river, but there's something else every tree. Now, I believe there's more than one tree there. Now, we speak of trees and species. We talk about the orange tree. And we may be talking about a little orchard. For it says in Revelation 22, and I'm not reading for the time that I'll read this verse. In the verse 2, in the midst of the street of it, and on either side of the river, for there is a tree of life, and there is twelve manner of fruit, and he that her fruit every month. And the leaves of the tree were for the healing of the nations. Oh, these are signs of the times that we're in. Brother, there's something else about this city. 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 There's something else about this city